Hello, welcome to Goblins of Discord. Um, we, today uh, we are typing Robin Quivers. She is Howard Stern's right-hand woman, but she kind of like steals the show. I think she's very sparkly and hilarious and big energy person. And we have uh, Kim uh, typing with us today. Hi. Liz. <laughs> Yeah, would you like to introduce yourself, Kim, and however you want to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name is Kim. I am a social self um 863 with 27 overlay, and I'm really excited to... This is actually my first typing call, because I'm, I'm better at getting areas of people than, like, distinctly, like, yeah, but it's really nice to, you know, be on here and process and learn a bit more about the any. Um, I've really enjoyed I really come to really love the system over the last year since I have been typed and kind of now sharing my little bit of knowledge um, with you guys so <laughs> I'm excited I just I'm ah I'm, I'm really energized already <laughs> Me too. Right, I'll shut up <laughs> especially because because like because we're thinking like Robin is an eight probably and uh yeah and I I still struggle a bit with seeing like how to like fully identify is this eight or seven or like is this you know what I mean so yeah I'm like super excited for your insight on that um and Liz who's hiding right now but uh we have Liz special seven uh, <laughs> assertive maximum call potentially another seven I'm a I'm I, I, I joke that I'm a seven wing seven SPSP <laughs> <laughs> I think that's accurate <laughs> okay this is the lovely Robin Quivers She's been around for decades on the Howard Stern show. I think the only reason to watch it. Um, but yeah, you can see just by looking at her that she has a big personality with her smile. And yeah, do you have like thoughts on yeah, that? Not, initial impression is just like not withdrawn. <laughs> like off, off the cuff, not withdrawn. Um, but what's interesting, I don't get I don't get head energy from this. I don't get buzzy. Hmm. Like, the, like she doesn't feel like she feels energetic, but it's not like head center buzzing. I think. Oh, that's a good, that's a good point. Actually. She does. And she seems very embodied on interviews and have a body type like me where it's like, I feel very heady, but it's still, I'm not, I'm like something about me is like, it's solid. <laughs> I feel like it's like, eh, even though I can be very like scattered and <laughs> energetically all over the place, physically I I'd say I'm pretty grounded, but like you know, I I don't get I don't get head center or withdrawn from her just off the off the bat. Yeah, she seems pretty there and present and like here, this is me and you see her smiling a good bit and a lot of that's probably for photos. But mm. I think her her smile doesn't seem like, oh I'm happy. It seems like <laughs> I'm here, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well, just, this one's pretty funny. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, it gets like, <laughs> when I was looking for videos, uh, it was like, you got Robin Quivers on Howard Stern. And she's like, just this like bombastic kind of bright, shiny personality. And then we can look at like, we don't have to watch all of this one. Cause it's obviously it's long, um, where she comes on Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and she's fierce like I was like holy shit don't fuck with Robin Quivers so I think that there's this sort of maybe duality <laughs> that might happen with AIDS that maybe we can touch on with you Kim because you're um also like kind of yeah a eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I wrote a book based on research that you guys all participated in do you remember a couple of years ago Robin the, 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 actually Dr. Young is out there the guy oh that is gave he you, I gave remember the, study. the test yeah. Dr. Young came in, gave us a test to see how who is the biggest narcissist on our show. What you discovered in your research was that Robin was not only the biggest narcissist on our show, but the biggest narcissist that you found in any sort Get out of here. Yeah. The, you, she was the worst case of any narcissism you'd ever seen. I believe really that. I don't know about worst case, but she is the winner. I feel like okay. seven, eight, kind of half two, like... Yeah, just just not the, the response to that question is not super ego. That's not a super ego. At least it doesn't feel like a super ego response. It's like it's always like, oh, you're a narcissist. It's like me, but but I but I, you know, but I met well, or I had good intentions, or no, I was really what I was really trying to do. Like there'd be some kind of explanation where it's like you're telling someone's telling her, not only were you the highest narcissist on your show, 
you were the highest that I've ever seen scored. And she's like, <laughs> that's funny. Like, yeah, get out of here. Like, like she's kind of making it into like a, a bit of a joke. Yeah, no, I, I have a similar kind of just like automatic laugh reaction when people say these sorts of things to me. Like someone told me, <laughs> oh, you're the weirdest person I've ever met or whatever. And I'm like, Haha, like, it's just, it's just like a response. But what does that mean about me? I think I'm a wonderful human being. Well, what, 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 That's what we mean. <laughs> Robin has a view of herself. But yeah, it's like she's like kind of what you said. It's like she's she's not like she's just not even taking it to mean anything about her. She's like, what does that mean about me? It's like she's rolling her eyes. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's also like I think it's interesting the way she says. It's like, what do you mean? Like, I think I'm a wonderful person. It's like I'm asking about your feedback because i care about you but that doesn't mean i'm gonna listen to it yeah like i'm just like oh what do you like because uh, i'm really curious to see how wrong you are <laughs> like, <laughs> like okay like uh well, okay well, like what does that mean like what do you mean but it's also kind of i feel like kind of deflective and it's like oh yeah talk about me more what about me more what to talk about me more put it like yeah what about me like oh let's make the let's put the spotlight on me even bigger like we got what about me like what does that mean where it's like she knows i think deep down what that means but it's a talk about me more let me hear about myself a little bit more <laughs> yeah she would find it funny and it's funny if you think about like the assertive types being like three seven eight um like I think sevens and eights probably don't give a shit if people call them narcissists. It's like, well, yeah, kind of yeah. maybe, like whatever. But I think threes probably because their image types have more, they're assertive image types, but they're like probably not wanting to be seen as a narcissist. So like that right sort of that would rule out three for me, uh, for her, just because she's like actually like kind of like, yeah, <laughs> do it. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. That is really different from the way she comes <laughs> off, which is narcissistic. Oh, yeah. yeah. You do. It. You do. I love her. She's a doll, but she's a tremendous narcissist and doesn't see it. I imagine it's well, mostly when she's in stress. And times of stress is when that stuff emerges. No, it pretty much has emerged all the time. Maybe I'm always under stress when I'm with Here, you. Here, I'll give you celebrities' average score: eighteen on the test. Yeah. Well, and we're thinking that she's probably got a two heart, so there is still a bit of super ego there, uh, but it's not like the main. Are, are you thinking two as well, right? Or... I'm, I'm still kind of. I'll definitely watch more of the other interview, but definitely the two three area. Like I'm not getting a hit of four whatsoever. Yeah. I don't think I'm getting or withdrawn it at all. <laughs> <laughs> like I, yeah, this is not this is not a three four area. Like it's either two wing three three wing two for me still, but definitely in that area. And then I think I'd say six seven in the head center, just because I'm getting a lot of. I'm getting a lot of activity and and buzziness, but there's still something that's like this isn't like to me this isn't core head, but it's it's still a lot of like like how I talk so fast because my brain moves so much faster than like <laughs> my brain moves very quick, and so sometimes I'll jump on my words just to say, oh my my brain's already on the next paragraph, but my mouth isn't caught up to me yet. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense, actually, if she's like an eight wing seven, that it would be probably six wing seven or seven wing six in the head center instead of like seven wing eight or something, because she does have something kind of like cute about her too. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, I didn't get, I didn't get seven wing eight at all. Like if it was, if she was, you know, if, if no, nah, this isn't like seven wing eight and like eight wing nine or whatever, like no, like completely, this is not that energy whatsoever you americans who aren't so narcissistic scored a 15. robin scored a 34. wow oh, the, charts. <laughs> <laughs> the really interesting data was your results which yes. was thank the, you no no but he actually scored rather low and everyone expected howard to score high well, he's he, been claiming to be a narcissist he's lying to he's us he's a treated narcissist i am my treatment has helped me he like lied you. on the test. No. It has shown how would him I know how, how to lie? It has shown him how to beat the test. Dr. Young, talk <laughs> about Robin's <laughs> clip. I feel like her laugh is so contagious to me. Like, yeah, she's having a she's having a ball. She's having a good time. <laughs> and also, she's like she's having a good time. Focusing on him lying too, which feels like kind of reactive. Like you're, um. Like, like I see your hidden agenda. Like you're actually like up to no good, of Howard. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's like this isn't real. You just lie.
I'll know right away whether someone feels similar to me because I'll just like feel very like ah oh, like like <laughs> like I'll feel cringy like like most other types like most videos I start laughing at like oh that's funny or like oh that's hilarious or like that's interesting or like I'll feel kind of like a like with me having like six and three fixes like I'll see six and three videos and I'll start laughing and I'll be like oh that's kind of funny but then I'll look at videos like this and I'm like ah yeah, I wonder if it's that's like, like stop I, talking I think, she's, I think she's fun I would I would enjoy talking with her and like <laughs> engaging in some kind of controversial discussion uh, yeah no I was just gonna say it's funny because I think that might be your six influence uh where you feel cringy seeing seeing it when I'm like I feel like when I see this is why I accidentally end up typing a lot of the same time <laughs> because I'm like I'm so drawn to this person what is it about them oh they're a similar type to me <laughs> right that's my like seven <laughs> yeah for sure for sure yeah because I think it's like a I think it's like a six six kind of gives this like is that how I really come off to people but it's like a very brief like is that how I co like is that how I look to people is that how I sound like oh like <laughs> sometimes it's like a, oh that's really good but other times it's a it's, uh like why but it's very brief and it's like eh you know live your truth say what you want exist how you want like whatever like live your life like uh like <laughs> like you know what you do you girl I love it if if, if you like it I love it <laughs> yeah and that sounds very like both like seven and eight influenced it's like or like as long as it's not like fucking with fucking with my jam like I don't care what you do <laughs> yeah yeah and I think that's what people misinterpret about eight a lot mm -hmm. like I feel like that's what people that's one of the big misconceptions that people have about eights it's like yes you can be very obnoxious and in your face and whatever else but generally it's like a you leave me alone I leave you alone so if, in other words it's like if you don't exist in what I consider to be my space it's like you're not even there mm -hmm. Like, I leave you alone. If you decide to come into my space and try to tell me how I'm supposed to behave, how to act or whatever, or you think it's like, you come to my space and, and, and act a way that I don't like, it's like, no, 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 no. Nope. Nope. You're, now you're being a problem and get out. <laughs> yeah, <that's how laughs> and I, I take you out fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I am too, actually. That's interesting. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that was my whole thing when you're like in the typing video, you're like, what's your motto? And I was like, you know, do whatever you want. But if what you want interferes with what I want, you better be prepared for to, to die on that hill because I'm coming yeah. after you now. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and I've had situations like over the years where I can't have my way in a situation and it just begins to <laughs> it's like it's like this fucking like it's like I don't like ever feeling under the thumb of a another person and it becomes like so I find it interesting if she's like an eight with Howard but she does feel like more of a partner than like a like he's like her ruler kind of it's like there's this sort of um but beautiful give and take that they have like I know if she if she is too fixed there would be like that super ego compliance aspect of her um with her connection with him right I think eight core still would want to feel at least equal right like to Howard Oh yeah, yeah no. Yeah, absolutely. or sometimes people with two in that position feel they kind of feel like the one running the show on the side, like I like like sort of like, oh, I'm not like visually in the lead, but I'm like actually the one running things. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point actually, and that would be like probably more like with a two fix or maybe even a six fix, um, kind of the behind the scenes like ruler. <laughs> yeah, yeah the queen behind the throne I yeah <laughs> I guess like it's funny just because it's like when you were saying oh yeah when I can't get what I want it's like I'm like I feel the same way where it's like but I have the delusion of like even when things aren't going my way and I know okay this isn't going to work right so but then the positive of but I can make it happen but I can make it work but I can turn this around it's it's so delusional because it's like oh yeah I can still get what I want somehow and I'm gonna make this I'm going to make this work out of my outcome and even when it does fall apart it's like yeah that was that was my plan that was my plan like it always it's always this 
flip of I always have the upper hand on something. Yeah. I always have the it I always frame things in a way where it's like I get that I have the upper hand. Well, if that fell apart, even though that wasn't like under my control, it but it happened the way that I wanted it to. That was supposed to happen. Like, <laughs> like whatever. Happened. Like it didn't it, it didn't mean anything. That meant nothing. Or, to me, or like right? this is, or like this worked out for the better. It's sort of like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it, it's like, well, this wasn't originally what I wanted, but now I'm realizing actually this is what I wanted all along, yes. and <laughs> things actually worked out perfectly and much better than they would have had it gone yes. to the initial plan. Yes. <laughs> this is actually helping me. You're helping me, Kim, because I've had vacillation with my gut fix. I'm like, am I nine wing eight or eight wing nine? So it's like, but I, I'm like, I always feel like eight fix. But I can see some nine-ish things where I'm like, but I can vibe with people. But I'm like, maybe I just under this like lie that like eights can't vibe or something because it's like I can vibe with people. <laughs> so you're eight wing seven, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because I can feel the positive. Yes. <laughs> you have like that, yeah, like the seven reframing aspect as well too, where it's like I, I will literally things will be really terrible, and I'll be like, somehow I manifest, like I manifested this. I am a creator of this. <laughs> and like it all came together for me and my master plan that I wasn't conscious of but look at how it all unfolded for me like oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I remember like I remember in high school like I had a guidance counselor because I had really bad anxiety in high school and I had a lot of avoidance problems and so like when I just didn't want to do something I'm just like no I'm just not going to do it like uh, no whatever I'll put it off like it's fine and so I had my guidance counselor or every counselor I had in high school was like remember avoid avoidance and I'm like what do you mean like <laughs> I'm not avoiding avoiding <laughs> you're just deciding not to do <laughs> I just don't want to do it and like I was very quiet in high school and whatnot and it's like I didn't think I was an eight because I'm like well I'm not engaging but it's like you didn't engage because you didn't consider things in your space so it's like why would I want to ping off with something that I don't consider like mine yeah and I was like oh like looking back I'm just like yeah there were very few times where I had a couple people in my classes that I would talk to but like everyone it would be interesting just because people would not realize when I would get angry it would come out and it would sh it could shut a whole room up like <laughs> <laughs> like I got annoyed one day just because like everyone was bothering me the whole week and I got to a point where no one was being quiet and everyone's like guys like be quiet whatever and I just yelled shut up and the whole room went dead <laughs> <laughs> they're like where did that come from I'm like that's been there the whole time that's been there the whole time it's you I, it, it reached a point where I was just like my anger doesn't come out as often as it used to but when it does it's like you have to try you have to try you really have to try and we'll just like bubble push up and push up and push up, push up and then finally get a point I'm like all right fuck you like, he, like fuck all right fuck you all right <laughs> Here we go. Uh, well and that kind of stuff is like is like um associated with like nine, like the bubbling, but I think it does happen regardless. Like, it's more like how you deal with like a situation where it's like, you can tolerate it to a point and then what happens at that tolerance level. Um, Cause I feel like when yeah. they blow their top, then they kind of go back to just being like, there's no problem. Or like, I didn't say that. Yes. Uh, what do you mean? I didn't blow up. It's like, well, yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, you said X, Y, Z. Oh, well, no, that's not what I meant. And so like, they'll backtrack after they explode. And I think maybe that's like a difference between like, um, perhaps like what, like, how do you kind of proceed moving forward? It's like, all right, like it's done and dusted now. Or it's like, uh, it would happen and it would just, I would escalate my anger growing up. Not so much anymore, but it was like, it, it was just like this. Oh yeah. I can egg this on. Oh yeah. I like this on. Oh yeah. I like this on. Or it's like, would my use to get disciplined? I'd be like, Hey, but Hey, I would bring my sister. Hey sister go irritate this go go do this so then this person and so it's like I was such an instigator with that growing up where it's like I was just trying to get as much reaction as possible or be like oh yeah I was making angry let's make it angry let's make it angry let's blow it up more let's blow it up more um but <laughs> it's but I don't deny it I'm just like yeah I said it and I'll just and I'll say it again I said it and I'll say it again but like it's just more so an example of like it's not so much physical anger, but like 
definitely more so frustration with mixed with anger was like in sixth grade we had to write um we were our my classroom was forced to write apology notes because our classroom was being too noisy to an adjacent <laughs> classroom um I was not noisy and so I'm like really what what's the point um and so you know afterwards we're handing in the notes and whatnot and so my friends and I are processing after class like man that was like I felt so bad so I wrote I was sorry I'm like I wrote I wasn't they're like you wrote said what I'm like yeah I wrote I on it in that paper I wasn't sorry and they're like, why I'm like because I wasn't talking so what do I have to apologize and it's like what are you sorry for I'm like I'm sorry for sitting in my chair silently waiting for instructions like I was supposed to do and they're like how would you change your behavior I'm like I would do absolutely nothing except exactly what I was doing before I don't see the point in writing this <laughs> I'm like I see no point in writing this like I'm sorry that everybody like most other people were disruptive but I'm not going to be forced into apologizing for something that I sh- should not be sorry for I will not do it fuck yeah if I was loud I don't up to it if I was loud I don't up to it yeah like I like I, yeah, yeah I pause it but the thing is it's like I would always I wouldn't deny the fact that I did I'm like yeah I blew up what and yeah I blew up whatever I used to minimize the amount that like I used to be like oh yeah that I, I yeah I blew up whatever I was so nonchalant about it whereas like <laughs> I was I would be perceived as being insensitive probably because I was <laughs> But like, oh man, it's like the nines. Yeah, I don't project. hide it. I'm just like, like the nines project. It's like it's like you won't join them in the smooth lake or something together. It's like you're the problem. It's like no, this is the problem. I'm just talking about the problem. I'm not the problem. I'm talking about what the problem is. But then they're like you're insensitive, and it's like this. I feel like it's more insensitive to su- torture people. <laughs> it's yeah. like someone's got to be insensitive otherwise no one's gonna say anything and then right. everyone's gonna wait and then eventually it's gonna but like someone needs to be like hey look like and i i i hate that when i like i like i've had some very withdrawn core nines who i've interacted with and they say that sevens attract nines but i find the issue uh is that a lot of times they won't voice their problems and then all of a sudden they're like this is unbearable i can no longer take this and i'm like what are you talking about and they're like this has been going on for weeks or months or blah and i'm like you literally didn't say anything yeah. until just now like oh my god like, oh well it was obvious i'm like how was i supposed to know there was a problem you said literally nothing right oh my god and they just expect you to know and like be a pos- sorry it's like well i'm not sorry because you never said you you literally are just saying this now like i'm not a mind reader you know and then you do tell Oh them, my god, yeah. No. You do tell them then it becomes like this whole thing. Because I feel like sevens and eights can get easily villainized just for being direct. So it's like Yes. Yeah. And then it's like the eight thing of doubling down where it's like, oh, you think I'm a bad guy, yeah, I'll show you what a bad guy is. I'll be like, oh yeah, you call me bad, yeah, I'll show you bad. I'll show you bad. I'll show you bad. So it's like I've had situations where it's like I've said before I would rather somebody double down on a bad take than take back a bad take because in the sense of whether I agree with it or not is irrelevant. I know where you, I know where you stand and I know what you think, yeah. whether I agree with it or not. Where someone's like, here's a here's something that's controversial, but but here either like figure it out for yourself or like, but I actually was like, here's what it's like. Say what you think. Yeah. Like like. Whether I agree with it or not, like I know where I st- I know where you stand and you know where I stand. So it it can be bad. But it's like I, at least I know that about you. At least you're transparent, which like I think speaks as the social eight very like very much social eight is like I see you. Yeah. Yeah, like, I totally agree. Here's you. here, here's where you are. Here's where you are. Mm-hmm. And like, I've heard the analogy of like, um, people are chess pieces is very social eight because it's like, I see you, I see where you can move. I see where I can move you, but as the queen, I can move anywhere and everywhere. You're not going to move me. I am going to move you. <laughs> I fucking love that. Oh, I'm so eight fix this is giving me so much clarity. I mean, I don't see people as a chessboard, but I see it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Cause it's like, no one's moving me like I will not be moved and I will I will find a way to impact the environment so that the environment changes to like my fucking location but it's funny what you're saying about the the school thing because like I used to get in trouble all the time I didn't respect any of my teach except for the teachers I did like but I didn't respect <laughs> yes. teachers and then it always, like I literally got like I failed art class even though I'm like a artsy 
because I, I kept telling the teacher, I was like, these are stupid. I'm not doing these exercises. Like I'm doing my own thing. And it became this whole thing. And, and like, and like, and even in like art school, like the one teacher, she tried to make us write an essay from her biased perspective of like how men keep women out of oh God. Uh, art. And I was like, I've never had that experience. So I refused to write it. And I wrote, actually my experience is like snaky women fucking me behind the scenes, uh, gossipy, blah, blah, blah. These are the ones who I've actually had experiences with keeping me out of art, but I do not feel kept out of art because I can create my own art. Like I don't need another person. And she she gave it back to me. She was like, I don't even know how to grade this. Like this was disgusting, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I love how like off topic we've gone with our with our seven influence here. Um, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> what I find so funny is like my last tangent point before like we go back to this it's like the amount of times i could just see seven and eight go from this topic too but let's somehow the topic always comes back to ourselves <laughs> it's funny because this is a narcissism call yes <laughs> yes like somehow it's just, when you talk to a seven or an eight it's just like all right it's like the Uno, it's like a reverse card okay back to me back to me back to me <laughs> It's like, okay, we're supposed to be talking about someone else. And then it just somehow just effortlessly went to, okay, here's my experience of me and I, blah, blah, blah. it's like, <laughs> I love that. I'm like, there we go. If you had any, if anyone had any doubt that we were a sort of heck sad, then like, there you go. <laughs> but what is funny because we're getting along so much better than like, if it was a bunch yes. of super ego types. <laughs> Robin Quiver is all right. <laughs> Really, what I would call a, an emotional problem, right? Is that correct? <laughs> well, Howard, I don't know if it's emotional, but Thank I you. have to say that you know, not only with the 200 celebrities that we looked at, but we've given this to lots of friends and family and lots of people in general. Right. And Robin still scores the highest. <laughs> Dr. Young, I'm getting very upset with you. <laughs> Dr. Young, in other words, you have never seen a result like Robin's in never. all your years. Would you like never. to study me? The yeah, answer is yes, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm in bed. Dr. Shit. Young, Howard, there are seven categories of narcissism. Go ahead. She scored almost to the maximum of every category. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. What maximum. are the categories, please? Exhibitionism, oh, there's God. vanity, <laughs> superiority, authority, self-sufficiency, well, entitlement, self and exploitation. But also, like, how is, like, self-sufficiency or, like, I don't know, a lot of these, sure, entitlement, but, like, uh, like a lot of this is just, like, not nurse, it's, like, just being an embodied person in the world, taking responsibility yeah. for your own happiness. So. <laughs> I think I think I can explain the self sufficiency with the narcissism. Um, but I don't feel like self sufficiency is the best label for it. I think it'd be something like over self reliance or like a refusal to lean on other people. Just because at least like my like part of my narcissism, and I think it's also being a is like a I'm invulnerable. So it's in the sense of if there is a plane and somebody told me, okay, you need the oxygen mask, I wouldn't put the oxygen mask on, not because I, like, like I would put up the oxygen mask on everybody else before myself, not because it's a, they need it more than me. It's like, part of it is that, but it's like, the other part of it is, I don't think I need it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stronger than the oxygen. Like, I don't need it. <laughs> I love that. Like, I'm going to help you because I'm stronger than you and I can, yes. you know. <laughs> yes 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 and that's where the the narcissism comes from in a denial of any type of vulnerability whatsoever so i wouldn't say self-sufficiency would be a good label for narcissism but more the it's like a stubborn refusal where it's like you're sick and yes. you refuse go to the doctor like yes. you're like and I, i'll literally do this like i'll be in my like when I get like if I get injured in Muay Thai or something, I'm like, no, I'm fine. Like I refuse to stop. I must keep going specifically because I have been punched in the face, right? I can cure myself, like <laughs> like like I'm literally a biohacker. I don't like I don't go like like I'm like, oh this doctor doesn't know anything. I'm just gonna take the stuff I have. Like I know so much better right. than they do. Yeah, I I I feel like a sort of what you said earlier, Kim. I almost conceive of it as like, yeah, it's like the universe or like the other person or the situation will not beat me. Like I will not allow them to have power over me, even if they do kind of do. It's like, it has to be in the frame of 
like I'm in control of my experience and I feel super yes when I'm not and it's like I almost conceive of it as like a tennis ball it's always like it's like where's the ball like if the ball is not in my court then I either need to get the ball back in my court or it's like like I will feel like, like this discomfort until the ball is in my court and if if I can't get the yeah. best support, then it's like I'm walking away from the match. It's like I'm not interested in this. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even like a power thing in the sense of like, I don't want power over other people. It's more just like, I don't feel safe if I'm not in full control of my experience. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I need to be in total power and control over myself. And that means I have to have a play over you. It's not quite literally. It's just... Yeah. Maybe. No, I quite literally did as a child. Like, I would refuse to play. Like, I was really bad at ball sports, so I just, like, refused to do field day and, like, refused to do gym class. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't like asking people for help either. Like, that to me is, like, feels super gross if I have to do Oh, that. my God, yeah. <laughs> like, legit, like, I, like, when it, I, it like, I did, it like, depends. a couple things of therapy and I hated it. And I was, like, and this was, like, in 2020, so there was, like, nothing to do. And I was sort of learning about mindset stuff. And I was like, I could pay a mindset coach. I was like, I'm just going to learn it myself. I don't think they're going to have the tools. I need to learn these tools myself because I'm the only one who can really, like, I'm only going to be the one who has, I don't want to rely on this other person who won't be able to do it anyways. So there's like, I basically just got trained in all this stuff for my own healing purposes. Not because I wanted to be a mindset coach. <laughs> so sorry, we are going so off topic again here. Um, <laughs> poor robin no it, it depends for me. yeah it, it oh it was oh, how we were about to go back on topic but it depends like i think if i actually i don't mind asking for help when it's like very much something i don't need like i pay people to like do my laundry and help me like do house chores because i'm like yeah like i just don't want to do this like this is how exchange of goods works like you pay someone to do some things and then they pay you to do other things like that's just the way the world works you know mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i don't even like that <laughs> okay exploitativeness I did. <laughs> can i tell you something can i be i think robin's favorite. going to have difficulty with other people in her life because of her narcissism and she should work look on it at who's talking I'm not saying I don't have problems, oh but I God. work on them. And Dr. Drew smiles when he looks at me, and he frowns he, when he looks he at you. he thinks you're a good student, which That's you are right. not. Well, I'm working. I'm doing the hard you're work. You're a horrible student. I'm doing the hard work you can't face up to. So, Howard, the question is, if you hadn't had a... And then she's being reactive there again, too. It's like she's calling out his bullshit again. like And calling out... I don't know what Howard Stern's type is. I feel like he has to have six influence. He doesn't seem like a seven to me. He's such a little worm. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, I, I could, I could, see, I could see, I, I could see six six, but I, it's interesting what you're saying, and she's kind of like, when people point out her vulnerabilities, it's like, I don't know, but, but, but you were, you were weaker here than me. Oh yeah, but, but, but you were vulnerable here. It's like, no, 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 I don't want to. I, I. So something I, I, if it ever comes up, something I want to elaborate on further on, but it's like I, the, the argument is like eights are so good at dealing with pain, and it's like I don't think eights are necessarily great pain dealers. I think they're great pain pain deniers because it's like why would I feel pain about something when you can just say the thing doesn't exist? Oh, I love that. It's like I just deny I even feel pain. So if I deny feeling pain, nothing hurts, mm -hmm. and it's not in the sense that it's like. So it's like yeah, I can say like I actually do have a high pain tolerance, but it's like a thing where it's like. I can just acknowledge, like, I can just say, oh, nothing hurts. That doesn't hurt. And if I tell myself that doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. It's not going to hurt. I won't allow it to hurt. Because I say, I say no. Mm. I say that doesn't hurt. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, no, it's like, a, well, yeah, I say eights are far better pain deniers. And it's like, it's, then it's like, oh, I can tolerate a lot of pain. It's like, you can tell, yeah, you can tolerate a lot if you deny it. Yeah. I think that must be like wing seven as well, probably. Um, like that sounds like eight wing seven, I think, because also like, do you, like, how do you somatically um, experience like, like distress or um, is it just not even there? Is it like. <laughs> Most of the time I don't feel stressed about situations until after they happen. 
I don't feel stress a lot in time in the moment because in my mind, it's like, if you get stressed, you're not going to be able to respond to things in the moment. And so you put that off to the side, like, okay, acknowledge the fact, yeah, that's there, put it in a box. You're not allowed to open that until like two hours later. For two hours, you cannot touch that. Deal with what you're dealing with right now because I need to be in control of the situation and that involves me being in control of myself. I'll let everybody else get reactive. I'll let everybody else panic. And when it's calm, it's like, okay, now you're allowed to take this out. Now you're allowed to process it because you've dealt with what you need to deal with. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And that's, again, this is so fascinating because there's that that nine part that people talk where it's like nines dissociate and then they get upset later. But this is different because this is like, rejection compartmentalization so that you maintain the power in the situation so that you maintain the control of the situation yeah and then i'm going to deal with this messy ass shit after the fact it's like totally separate than nines like yeah. backing out and then realizing they had a boundary infringement like five years later <laughs> yeah like one of my best friends is a self press five and it's like we have a lot of differences but one of the things that he and i have in common is like we're both handle we're both really great in a time of crisis he's like yeah we handle crisis very well because it's a sense of all right nope cut everything else off we're only strictly dealing with this we're going to be calm right now we're going to deal with it right now i can't focus on what i'm feeling what i'm thinking i just need to at least for me it's not so much what i'm thinking it's like all right i just need to act turn my brain off <laughs> You know, like, I get this like laser vision when I have like a goal and I think this is why I like having these intense deadlines and goals is it's like it's like kind of an adrenaline rush it's, like when there's an emergency it's like oh my god now I have to like bike five miles to get to this place and it's like literally just like everything else disappears it's like the only thing is this goal and there you have this like tunnel vision and this like intense focus that just kind of manifests as well, it's like some seven dopamine hit chasing that you're doing there, Liz. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like, like I'll, I'll be biking down this road, like, and then I'll go down another time, like, wait, when did all these, like, stoplights get here? I never noticed those before. <laughs> Where does the construction site come from? This is why I don't have my full license. <laughs> I literally don't notice anything anything around me and it's like a problem i'm trying to get it this summer I'm, or this spring i'm like I, it's bad i'm old i need my license anyways it was treatment what do you think your score would have been i don't think i could score it possibly as high as robert what is the score <laughs> what is the score it's my average. score uh, his is 15 mine this was 15 average. mine was average i'm telling you yeah. he lied now that you've yeah. treated you can see things and you want yes. people you care about to change and they don't want it it's tough now robin won't yeah. change they, but they, you, True. You got, you, you, I'm really sick of you at this point. No, but listen. I'm, 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 you're talking to him like I'll give you an example, Joe. No, no, I'm, I'm going to take. I'm going to build a case I for you. I can't listen to you if you're going to say he's okay. We can't handle it, huh, honey? Can't. <laughs> so, so like reactive, uh, emotional location. Like you're, you're a bullshitter. <laughs> yeah, that's that whole thing of like, you're never going to score as I'm never going to score as high as Robin true okay i acknowledge that yeah you can't beat me but immediate reflection and just just <laughs> this just sounds like something i would say i'm not going to take in what i don't want to take in which is which is very rejection but specifically it's like i'm not going to listen to you if you don't acknowledge me and my perspective and my viewpoint if you don't acknowledge that i'm right just because it's what I think. Like, if you don't acknowledge my world, I will not listen to you. A six, for example, in the situation, it's like they were going to respect Dr. Drew because he's like some famous doctor, blah, blah, blah. But like, she's just like, I don't care what you think. You're just some guy. Like, you don't even know what you're talking about. If you think like, so it's totally also just herself as the this authority, like figure in the room, regardless of what she knows and doesn't know. She knows her like gut autonomy truth of like her reactive like <laughs> inner knowing <laughs> interesting with like the eight asserted is like a lot of times they don't need reasons they're kind of just like like this is just how it is and as opposed to like another type maybe being like oh well i'm right but and then like like i think sevens will tend to give more of like a justification like if i was there i'd probably be like spouting some shit about how i'm right and all the like like whatever like personality knowledge i know right so 
but the eight is very gutty. Nope, like I'm just not I'm just not making it. Yeah. I think it's also in the sense of like at least if I can try to guess what her perspective is in the sense of like Howard Stern is in my world. He's not in yours. So how dare you think that you know him more than me? Don't tell me, like, d- don't try and tell me what's real about my friend. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, because it's like your friend. It's like part of your world. It's like yeah, 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 exactly. anything that's in your sphere is sort of like something you own in a, in a certain way. Right, like if somebody tells me like my perspective is wrong, it's like, oh no, my world's messed up. Now I have to cut it out. <laughs> I have to reject that now because it's no longer in line with what I want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, just visually, this video, I like that she's kind of sitting behind the thing, like her little castle here with like her roses and her weird little balloons or whatever those are. And Dr. Drew's almost like pleading with her. It's like she's kind of just in this authority position just by virtue of like how she's occupying the space. Let go of you guys. Again, I ask you, out of all of the people you tested, did you ever see a 34 beside Robin? No, and in fact, a 34 means she's almost three standard deviations above the mean. What that, what that means is higher than 99% of the population. Oh my God, in heaven do you need so. help. Impossible. Uh, you know what, and you know what's so I'm sad? So sorry, I'm sorry, Robin. I'm so sorry. And Dr. Young, you know what's so what's sad? I feel like sixes and nines created narcissism <laughs> tests just to get even with like sevens and eights in their life that they're mad at like for for daring to live their truth or something. <laughs> I love that. I love that. What's your oh yeah, what's your score? <laughs> Dr. Young, you know what's sad about what you just said? Her narcissism, she enjoys that she's 99%. That's it. She's enjoying this. That's part You're of the so 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 sickness. There is a thing in me that says, well. Wow. Do you know that Dr. Young told me probably Saddam Hussein? Right there. Right there. Right there. And it's it's something that I was making a comment about within the first minute of this video was deep down, she secretly wants the, the conversation to be directed back to her. She secretly wants people to say that about her. <laughs> that right there it's like if they're talking about you even if it's like ostensibly bad it's like it's still good <laughs> but there's but there's no one like me i'm the only one who's like that <laughs> i'm one of a kind right i'm not like anyone you've ever met <laughs> even if it is bad <laughs> And I think like sevens and eights can also enjoy taking on that villain role that people project onto them because there is sort of a, a oh, yeah. power to that in general. It's like, oh, yes, I'm the villain. Oh, <laughs> you know, even though she's clearly not, she seems like the most lovely person to be around. She seems like wonderful. I would rather be around her than Howard, that's for sure. <laughs> Only a 16? I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, Hitler out of Ava. What is, oh, what is this, what does this say about Robin? In other words, Howard, this is a, a, a motivating device for Robin. I, I have to go in and hug Robin. No, okay. okay. no, no, Robin no, I don't want to have anything to do okay. with okay. Robin had a ploy. <laughs> that's, that's eight. That's eight. Oh my God. I want to hug Robin. No. Get away from me. I don't want anything. I, I love the, I don't want anything from you. Not even just a hug. It's no, I don't want you to exist with anywhere near me. I, I love how she's like laughing while she says these sort of like aggressive, like get away from me uh, thing. <laughs> she, she's just so smiley and happy about it. Yeah, which is, I guess, why we'll watch a little bit of the other one, too, because she's way more, like, fierce than the other video. She's kind of almost, like, 8 beast mode activated, but um, I don't know. We can watch But, but you can, like, see in her face, just even in this pause, like, she's kind of got the, like, like, snarl. So it's, like, there's the, it's, like, she's clearly enjoying herself, but you see there's definitely something, like, behind it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right about her having a, like, maybe it being six wing seven Kim for her head um, fix. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, it's... She, yeah, she's very more, fuzzy. She's... Like, like my core with like heads, like with like six seven area, very buzzy. Eight wing seven with like six seven area, like you get so much, like 
energy and life and and whatnot and so it's like it sometimes can be tricky to tell who's in charge um but i think like everything we said like i don't think a seven would be so much like get away for don't exist like but, but, but like i don't know <laughs> I'm pretty I'm honestly pretty I don't think like that's me, but I also have a four fix so <laughs> my reasons are more like you're gross I don't want you touching me um <laughs> yeah it's not like a I'm a race like you're just erased like it's not it's not an erasure type of don't touch me because you're dead to me right now <laughs> yeah no I'll be like you don't exist yeah or or sevens <laughs> like their witty back a lot so <laughs> yeah yeah, she could be if she has like double wing seven anyway she would still seem quite 70 so um yeah yeah no a lot of people before i got my type back they actually they thought i was seven wing eight a lot of them thought i was yeah no i don't get that from you so I, but right. a lot of people thought i was a seven but no seven <laughs> is just such a strong flavor <laughs> like i think like joan rivers like I, when i think seven wing eight like oh, that okay. type of narcissism oh joan rivers that's beautiful yeah she just was an attack dog too, a tiny, tiny. Yeah, little like, like seven wing eight. Like I get the vibe that like they're way more complainy. Like I almost just want to take a seven wing eight and be like, stop whining. <laughs> That's just energetically what I feel. It's like, oh my god, can you not like, like, like just like, blah, 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 shush. <laughs> I I am so glad my partner is a two because she just like. Take, like every time I complain, she's just like, I'm so sorry, baby. Like I texted her at like four in the morning being like you threw out my you, you threw out my my gluten-free bread like rrr, like just all this shit like oh my god i love that yeah and i'm a social social dom complainer so <laughs> i think yeah i think the frustration part is because then you notice immediately whatever's frustrating you and it's like well now i have to solve the problem i have to get it out i have to like um it's kind of like i guess maybe more with the wing six influence you're calling out the problem but it's like um I don't want that like thing, but sevens are eights will just cut it out, and seven is more likely to just kind of like <laughs> cause a bit of a stir. Yeah, I'm not gonna dance. Y yeah, like I've always viewed um seven fix as or like frustration in general as like filtering because it's stick because it's obligated to somewhat stick with the thing that it's frustrated with because it's trying to get exactly what it wants. Whereas like an eights, like you get, I get it's like. I like the analogy of like if it's a sponge that gets one drop of bad water, it's like I will refuse to take in any of all water. Whereas like frustration's like okay, but I want to filter the water down to get the exact like the exact kind of water that I'm looking for. So it's like at least that's how I kind of view it. Whereas like frustration's like I'm more likely to stick with a thing that's frustrating me because I want to get exactly what I want how I want it. Whereas eight's like if i cannot get this done i viewed it as a as like rejection just in general is like a lot less forgiving <laughs> oh i love that that's so perfect yeah, that's it's, it's yeah, i think lot. i think i struggled in the past to like differentiate the two so yeah like rejections like it's not as flexible because it's i can either get this all the way a hundred percent exactly what i want or if it cannot exist exactly how I want, I'm not allowed to have it. Mm. That's not but, allowed. But, but then you're like, oh, well, well, I actually wanted something else anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I never needed it. I never needed it. I want that now. <laughs> yeah, no, I will. I will. I, I am like really anal about my food. Like I will, like I'll be like, I'll, be, I'll go to a restaurant and I'll be like, oh, they don't have this like exact dish I wanted. Well, now I'm just not like going to this restaurant anymore. Oh, look at this other restaurant. This restaurant is great. Actually, it's so much better that we found this restaurant because it's just better. Right. That's so SP focus too. I love that. Um, okay, we'll watch the video and uh, yeah. So this is like a whole different energy for Robin Quivers. This is where we're gonna really see some eight stuff, I think. 14 years? 14 Did years? Did you know it was 14 years? That that <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you're better at your history than I am. Yeah, it doesn't seem... Even the way she's dressed, this is being reductive, but it kind of looks rejection-y. It's like just her full black suit and like it's kind of a no must baby. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love that. 
especially given like the topic too that that they're talking about it's like i almost feel like she came in like with this kind of like armor on like this ready to like kind of go to bat with these little motherfuckers yes absolutely since 1981 robin has been teamed up with one of the most controversial broadcasters in history howard stern and they even did a <laughs> just looking at her face like i know like not able to hide her disgust towards <laughs> Like, keep going, lady. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I love it. Roper poll on Howard Stern, and they found out 61% found that Howard was demeaning toward blacks minorities. Now, the most asked question of you has got to be, as a black woman, how do you justify working for a man who's been labeled uh, a racist? Well, all by day other long, people. yes, all day long. I hear. First of That's all, let the me one point question, out, right? Aren't you bored of it? And this is interesting too, because they're like talking over each other. She's not like seating. She's, it's like, I don't know what Sally Jesse oh is. She's probably, probably a, a bunch of super ego stuff going on, but there's, she's got her ground. She's like, she's out of her comfort zone in some ways and that she's on this like talk show, but she's just like, sorry, do you have a... Oh my God. Yeah. I, the interruption, I so bad. You've seen it in just this call, but in every conversation in my life it's like uh oh i have something interesting bam i gotta interject or like boom i gotta interject or like this i gotta talk about or that i gotta talk about it's so bad like my <laughs> my boyfriend was on a phone call with my grandmother and i who i think i think she's an eight wing nine um but it's like he's like i can't tell who's worse he's like i don't know who's worse <laughs> he's like you both don't know how to just he's like you both don't know how to listen you just he's like you both interrupt what is what is he's like he's like i don't know who's worse um i think he's a nine wing eight wedding singer (laughs) so it's like i originally thought he was a seven just because i'm like i'm getting a lot of assertiveness but it was just like and then i realized the amount of times he'd be like i'm just a vibe i'm here to vibe kim your vibes are off like the amount of times you mentioned like just being like a vibe and kind of just like i knew it was not nine wing one and i knew i would not mistake a triple assertive for a nine wing one so i'm like honestly yeah him being a nine wing eight just makes so much sense because <laughs> he's just like i'm here for the vibes i'm just here to you know float be positive whatever <laughs> it's always nice to the amount of and like it is annoying obviously like when people do that and i've been trying to manage myself because I know that I do it as well. Um, but it's always nines that would get mad at me over interrupting them. But but I would be like, oh, now the natural pause has occurred in the conversation. So now I'm going to like, da, da, da. and like, yes, I do have a history of interrupting people. That's the exact critique. But, but it's like, and then That's you're like, the exact oh. critique I get. <laughs> exactly. People, people will tell me, they're like, oh, like you need to let other people talk. And I'm like, I put pauses in my sentences. Those are when they can talk. And if they don't take Yay. that opportunity, like that's on them. Like I gave them plenty of opportunity. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you've got three second pauses and me taking a breath in order to speak. <laughs> oh, I'll if make there's it a silence nice and you don't interject. <laughs> yeah, right. If, you, if I'm silent and you don't say something, I'm going to talk. Whoever screams the loudest wins. Yeah. As a black woman, how do you justify working for a man who's been labeled uh, a racist? Well, all by day other long, people. Yes, all day long. I hear. First of That's all, that's the me one point question, out, right? Aren't you bored? Out in that poll, forty percent of the country didn't think he was that way. That's <laughs> okay. a pretty good, you know. That's surprising. Yeah, our presidents are elected by little better margins than that, exactly. so that's pretty good. Uh, that's immediate positive reframe yeah i'm just not getting like just doubling down on the fact that there is no competency in the core <laughs> there's no there's no an acknowledgement of the facts just being the facts this is but there's 40 percent that approve of him and i have to mention that because i'm in that 40 percent. so i agree with these people they're right because this is what i think mm-hmm. I wonder if this is also maybe pointing to her potentially six wing seven head as well like um because she's not just kind of like defeating her with made up shit she's like also pulling out some of her own data like um yeah that's number one number two 
60 percent of the country has never heard howard stern either i mean we are only heard in 20 markets across the country okay. so certainly some of those people giving their opinion have never heard the show and they're responding to what they read in the press that's right i do not believe that i'm working with a racist or a sexist person we certainly deal with all of those topics and issues on our but show in his heart he is not either. as far as i'm concerned no but how do you know a person's heart you really know what you know that's i true. have known him to be a generous performer, a good co-worker and partner, and that's why I'm there. I'm there because we do an entertainment show, number one. She's holding her ground. Like, she's like, she like she kind of reminds me of Camille Polly a little bit, um, Pog, Camille Polly, who I think is like an eight wing seven, where she's just sort of commanding the room. It's like, here, here's how it is, all right. Like, here's how, where I stand, here's where he stands, here's where. I think what also gives it the way, uh, gives it away a bit is that the fact that she's not trying. Ooh, she's yeah. not trying to command the room. She's not trying to take over the room. She's not trying to do anything. She's just stating who she is, where she is, how she is, because she doesn't feel the need to give the why. Like, it's just, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to take charge, but it's not this, I'm going to plan to be a, no, it's just coming out. And that's how it comes out. And she's not filtering that in any way. Um, but I've been told the same remarks when I've entered um like voice chats on Discord. They're like, oh they're like, oh hey Kim. I'm like, oh hey, what's up? They're like, oh yeah, I they're like I can just tell when you enter a space. <laughs> like I can feel the energy shift as soon as you enter a room. I love that. <laughs> yeah, well, she- I've been called like a human energy drink before, like like you name it. But yeah, this this feels very similar in the sense of we command your attention and it's not and it's not trying Mm -hmm. and and there's not this extensive type of effort it's i'm stating what i'm stating i'm doubling down on what i'm saying this is who i am this is what i want take it or leave it yeah there's no negotiation you take it or you leave it i like that um i i'm still leaning kind of like too hard i guess we're not seeing too much Heart stuff here but i kind of almost part of me leans like two wing one i feel like she could be double like mm. i feel like she feels double rejection to me like she feels like like and she does feel like she has extra yeah I think you're right about probably six wing seven head i um but i think it might be even t- i'm open to two and three i think it might be two wing one just because she does have this sort of um no fuss no muss like this is my role i i'm like i Uh, like I do the Coward Stern show like she's kind of like in a subordinate position but she's very like yeah I I could I could see that yeah I could see that she also kind of has like that extra pride I think that more of it comes with two two one space two or it's just this innate kind of I know what's best um but yeah okay we're having a good time and a lot of people who also listen to that show enjoy it for the on that level there are now a lot of talk there's now a lot of talk about talk radio oh yeah especially um now that we have a democratic president and a republican congress and a lot of focus has been placed on talk radio however we don't do those kind of shows we're not doing a political show we're not trying to tell people how they're living how to live their lives or how to vote on issues we try to entertain you on your way to work in the morning bingo yep yep i'm not here because it speaks to the kind of autonomy and even though she's objectively right that they're not there to tell you what to think I just found the wording very interesting and it kind of relates to the autonomy perspective of you're allowed to think whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you what to think. I'm not here to persuade you. I'm not here to convince you. I'm just like, like, it's not so nonchalant. Like we're just here to entertain you on your way to work. Mm. I'm offering you entertainment. Mm. That's my offer. You're entertaining. Um, And, but she's saying it very seriously too. Um, also, I feel like just to speak to her heart space, I feel like if she was eight, it was like like let's say a three wing two. It's like obviously not three wing four, but um, she would be trying to like also charm a little bit more. Like she would be trying to yes, kind of get you more onto like her side or something. And I feel like she's just staunch in her position of like we're in the right. Yeah, no. And, um, 
No, I, I agree. Like I, cause I have, um, if they're being too fixed and it's like the way that I commonly view myself is like, I break you before I build you. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the way it's like, how to see is I'm going to, I'm going to come down on you very, very aggressively and be like, this is wrong. This is wrong. That's not right. Blah, 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 blah. And then it's like, okay, now that you're kind of like, <laughs> Like, okay, now now I can I can get in there and I could really, I'm going to work with you. You want to accomplish that? We're going to work on this together. We're going to work through this together. If you want to climb a mountain, I'll be right next to you. Like, I'll like, be the lapel, whatever. Like, it's like, yeah, three wing two, I feel like as much more of this, like, it's like competency with projection. So it's like, uh, I'm, Mm. here is what i here's my achievement and whatnot and here's my offering and here's like it's it's i feel like it's more people centered yeah and i see i it's see more like, what do i it's more like what do i have to offer you that's special kind of yes oh i like that yeah yeah i see like three wing two yeah is... i'm not getting that from her no <laughs> i see three wing two is like um prince charming energy it's like knight of cups sort of yes like yeah like the charming sort of people peoply um likable uh and like i think she is intensely likable but uh i think it is like just because i like her but um i think she yeah she's not really concerned with these outside perspectives thank you i know i'm in the right so <laughs> yeah she's not she's not making an image out of being likable mm -hmm. at least that's how i can best word it yeah, I know that's perfect. Oh, you're dropping so many great. Like, I'm so glad that you came on this. Thank you. It's like giving, I feel like, so much insight into eight, like, that I did not have before. So, I think that's fair enough. I don't think he is necessary. I don't believe that in my heart, I don't think he's a racist or a sexist. I think it's like everything else. And I spent 36 years in radio. To me, it's an act. Mm -hmm. It's like Rush Limbaugh's an act. And, uh, he will do whatever he needs to do to shock, because if he didn't, he wouldn't be Howard Stern and he wouldn't be on the air. Inside, I find him probably an average. You most, most members of the media are inside liberals, and I think he probably is. You I would think have to discuss that with him. I can't answer those questions. <laughs> I can certainly answer the ones about justifying my role on the show. Has there ever been a... <laughs> she just did what you said AIDS do? Uh, excuse me, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> it's also a, um, I'm not going to speak on, like, yeah, no, I can only speak to me. Yeah, I can only speak to me. I can't speak for other people. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm not going to speak to other that, people. It has that sort of like, this is my territory. This isn't my territory. That like, yes. like if you ask me about this thing, I'm just going to be like, nope, I don't go there. I don't know about that. Ask me something else. Hmm. It's also a, I didn't come on this talk show to talk about this thing. We came here because I was under the assumption that we were going to talk about this specific thing that I've been informed about. Hmm this is where my territory is in this conversation if i want to venture outside of that then that's under my discretion that will not be under yours <laughs> where you think he went too far i don't think that anytime you're having a conversation about something you can go too far what we are doing <laughs> is seeing what people say about things how people talk in real yeah this does sound double reactive um right there Right there, right there. Has there ever been a point where you think he's gone too far? And I quote, I don't think at any time you're having a conversation on something you can go too far. That right there is seven, eight, right there. That there is eight wing seven. Hmm. There's no such thing as too far. Anything left of me is not far enough. It's, it, it's such a, nothing's off the table, but we say it with a straight face. Nothing's off the table, literally nothing. Like there's, cause to her, it's like nothing's ever too far because I'm, I'm the maximum of what is too much. So anything that is underneath me is not enough. So nothing can ever be too much for me because I'm always going to be what is too much because I am the energy center in which nobody is asked for, but I will provide it anyway. <laughs> that was great. I also think like we're talking about like, yeah, that's just what people think. Like, it's like, we're, we're like getting into like the real, the, the truth, what the people like, which also kind of makes me think like more like six wing seven, uh, fix as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
the raw truth. <laughs> yeah, she felt too reactive to me to be eight with a seven fix. She felt a bit too re- I'm like, this feels, I'm like, this feels eight six. <laughs> this feels eight six to double seven eight life okay you know we have uh this backlash in the country where we think everything on the radio or tv should be nice and pristine but i'd like to point out to people that during some of the worst times in this country there wasn't television movies or radio to influence people you know we had slavery right. there were no tvs nobody there knew was what was no, going on uh, movie telling people and reinforcing those negative opinions of black people that kept us enslaved during the time when they were using hoses to wash black Oh, I guess I haven't even talked about this. I think social self press. I mean, this is a bit of a social. I agree. Rant. This I a- agree. I agree. I got social self press very, very quickly. Um, definitely social eight for me. I'm like this feels home base. Um, but yeah, no, this feels this feels social self press absolutely. She's taking the opportunity also to point out their hypocrisy of like people saying to her like. Like, oh, you work for Howard Stern, he's a racist. It's like, excuse me, like my experience. I'm like, I'm going to actually, now I'm going to make you really uncomfortable by fucking laying it out for you. Uh, what this, this truth is. Right. And now she's giving her a lesson in history as well. So. <laughs> yep. Gotta, gotta give you that for asking for their rights everybody was very polite on the radio and the television but it didn't make people change those attitudes or opinion what changed those attitudes and opinions was confrontation okay robin (laughs) (laughs) fucking love her hello double reactive and even maybe the two like like what you need is the truth like kind of even just like her pride in her almost she's like i'm like I'm giving the people what they really need to get some real social self press action happening here. <laughs> yeah, what they need is confrontation. Like, okay, yeah, reactive. <laughs> yeah, she has very like lioness kind of energy too. Yes. With who you are and with your race. Did you always feel that way? I don't think growing up at the time that I did, a lot of people felt comfortable with their race. You know, we were taught taught to look down when we were addressed by white people. We were told that, you know, we were supposed to step back and let them have their turn when it came time to be served at a counter. There were some places in the country where we could not be served food. We couldn't That's drink right. out of the same water fountain or go to the same bathroom, and we couldn't be registered at the same hotel. Hotel. So certainly there was a lot of negative uh, impressions out there of what it meant to be black, even as we were growing up. Yeah, she's really doing like a social self press double reactive history lesson here, like for all the cats. Yes. They're all like, <laughs> and all the white people are probably like squirming in their seats right now. <laughs> yeah, no, she's giving social context. Um, but it's interesting because she's like, I think a lot of people that time felt that way, but she doesn't. She doesn't give a direct answer of yes or no, which I find interesting. It's like, did you feel, did you feel confident about your race at that time? Because she doesn't want to say no. And off the bat, she doesn't want to immediately say no. So she's like, I think a lot of people felt that way. She's like, oh yeah, other people, I'm other, I know a lot of people felt that way, but she's not putting herself in there with other people, which is what I find interesting. Even though I think deep down she wants to. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was like, like, you can't acknowledge anything that could be perceived as a weakness, even if it's like, you know. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, and I think probably her six had two swooping in for like a bit of the people, the universalization of it. But that's, oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, that is what she's doing. Oh, I'm learning so much. (laughs) Yeah, I think the six and the eight is an interesting combination. I think that's like also what my mother has, but there's this very interesting of like a pushing forward and being reactive, but also with this sort of super ego, there's like justification and like, it, it, it's like an interest. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's like core eight with a six fix. It's like there's justification, but it's like, I'm the justification. <laughs> I I I act like this because I say so. Because it's the right thing for me. 
and and there's the moral sense but the moral sense is like just yes. you <laughs> yes i am the morals i mean i used to see you when he would make his when he would make his races remarks and degrade women you would be laughing like some type of hyena i call you oh, she's probably like a spicy 683 or something <laughs> Agreed. Hyena? What the fuck? I was hyena. Wait, 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 wait,
I don't understand why people get so mad about it. It's like, I'm just telling you how I feel. Like, I'm just doing my own thing. Like, why does this affect you? It doesn't affect you what I'm doing. I, and I've had so many problems because of that, especially with my family. They're all, you know, there's uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. But I will say this, like when I, I don't, I don't listen to them anymore. But when um, like BHE dropped that like attachment episode that was like a few couple years ago that was like about um, attachment to disconnect it blew my fucking mind open. I was like, holy shit, this is the yes. root, the total root of so many of my relationship problems that I have never understood where I'm like, why, why, am, why does this always happen? Like, why am I always that? Like, you know what I mean? Why do these patterns keep, and it's like, oh my God, because they're trying to, they're to attack, like they're adapting and I'm not. And why would I adapt? I'm my own person and me not understanding that they are doing that and they're mad that i'm not doing that and it's like <laughs> i still don't understand it but oh, I, understand. I am not familiar with this video but i feel like it would probably make a lot of sense to me because i feel like a lot of times like i'll just be doing my own thing and suddenly everyone around me will just be like oh oh, oh. like they'll just be they'll just be kind of like wait okay i'll put my cam on for this this is literally people people around me they're just like oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're all just freaking out and I'm like what like what is like what is even going on and it's like sometimes I feel like just by existing I suddenly like like I'll be in my own little world and suddenly I'll just realize like oh everyone's upset and they're like you're doing this thing and I'm like oh what like what are you talking about I'm just living my life you know like it, it's very it's very bizarre I, I have some fun stories about this one dude at the 7-eleven who like like he thought I was trying to rob the store because I was wearing a face mask and <laughs> But like he didn't say this. He just he didn't say this. I walk in the store and I start like going through the store and he's like, oh, oh, oh. and he just keeps doing this. I'm like, is there something wrong with this guy? Like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, like like take your face mask off. And I like I go up to the counter and I'm like, dude, like buddy, listen, calm down. You gotta use your words. I don't know what this means. You have to use your words. And then I like buy my shit and leave. But it's like. People are just so weird sometimes. It's like, like you're wearing a balaclava, like a robber mask. It's like it's like yeah, no, it's like I was wearing a scarf. It's like it's 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 cold, like outside. I am probably not the only person who has come into the store wearing a frick like. And I even said they're like, oh, you're wearing a mask. I'm like, huh, that's funny. Three years ago, if I walked into a store without a mask, you would have tried to not let me in, right? It's like right. <laughs> And that's what I said, and I said this. It's like, you know, like, because I'm not there to rob the store. They can't do anything to me, like, you know. <laughs> but it's just so yeah. bizarre. People are so funny. Yeah, like, it's been so interesting, like, really getting a deep dive on this stuff over the last year. And, like, as soon as I, because I thought I understood what attachment was, and, like, no, I, 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 do, I didn't. I, I, I still don't. <laughs> like, I'm like, I think I get it. And then there's still moments where I'm like, what because i remember like a couple nights ago my boyfriend and i were having a conversation and i thought that he like was agreeing to things that he didn't want to because like, he was like oh well this makes you happy so i do and i'm like wait did you never enjoy this the whole time then if you said that if you felt that way why were you just going along with it why would you comprehend and i was just not understanding like i completely missed the context number one number two i was just not understanding of like oh that that makes you ha oh that's just that's something that you're not compromising your identity you're not compromising who you are but my immediate thought was why would you adjust it like why would you do things strictly for other people if it doesn't make you happy to it was just like me completely taking it and missing yeah no i i never thing. understood that because that that stuff drives me insane like i literally will just like refute like a lot of my issues growing up where it's like I would just refuse to do these things and people are like why are you refusing to do this it's like not a hard thing and I'm like but I can't like I cannot just give up my autonomy like that like I just can't yeah he was like trying to break it down and explain it to me and he's like he's like it's not that difficult to understand I'm like I I'm like I know it like, in theory it should not be but I'm having a hard time connecting and then I explain that part of it and he's like yeah no it's 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 not that at all he's like I'm like I have a hard because I <laughs> said I'm like I have a hard time adapting he's like really I never noticed <laughs> yeah, it's like not the waters that hex had swim in either it's like it's just it's not like right. if I, I don't adapt I will go along with stuff if I 
feel like going along with it where it's like okay yeah you pick the restaurant because i don't give a fuck where we eat i'm gonna eat the same thing <laughs> anyways yeah <laughs> like, it's just, like, yeah yeah like there's definitely a lot of things i just i don't care it's like you care. know like or people be like oh well, like what time do you want to do this it's like i don't care like i'm not doing anything today you know so right because i actually don't care i am loving your unhinged stuff yeah. today, liz <laughs> We gotta make her a, a character, like a character in those video games where it's like, finish it. She just takes like a little yeah. pixelated ass. Finish and it, like, totally. and... <laughs> See, to laugh at you yourself. You and you're saying okay. that you I don't okay. have the right to like choose so. how I would handle my okay. situation. Okay. That's now, what you So autonomy. <laughs> Give me your face. You're deny yeah, you're denying my right to exist is basically her argument. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what she's fighting him about. It's it's nothing about any sort of data point. It's you're trying to tell me how to exist to my face, which first of all, you have balls to do that. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I love also too like I don't know how long ago this was but she like probably like 10 20 years ago but but she's like a but she's a woman and he's like this man coming up and like it wasn't like I don't think commonplace to see women just like fucking like shredding dudes you know on like tv so Helps okay me. what I'm Thank saying you. is that the way you deal with this this racism as you put it is is not it's it's not a funny issue it's not a funny you don't issue. listen and to our show to constantly there it's are nothing to laugh right. at until okay. it's dealt with seriously all right let me all right? let me <laughs> i love how she just ignored sally jesse raphael's prompt first <laughs> they, she, they do this whole that. thing about like okay we're gonna take turns like no just ignore it <laughs> and he's there's clearly... one turn and it's mine it's like another six having a spin out <laughs> Let me tell you, like <laughs> this is there like, is no this... talking stick in this world. <laughs> but he's probably he probably loved it. He probably was like, oh, mommy just told me <laughs> my social self for eight. Mommy just told me how to live. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, yeah, no, I one of my exes was a six, and yeah, it would be when fights would happen, it would be almost exactly like this. It'd be like, no, uh, check yourself first of all. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be exactly like that then they like it because he gives them certainty <laughs> it's it's now. Yeah, no, the six will just like knit the six will nitpick, nitpick everything uh, spices oh. and oh sorry what <laughs> oh the six will nitpick everything but then because you're assertive you just like keep going with it and like using it as more more fuel because i don't i don't know it's like it's like they pick the argument, but then they don't want to finish them. So I don't, I don't even. Know. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can see him losing energy as she's gaining energy. It's like what you said about it's like about reactivity. Um, it's like she's she's escalating, and he's like starting to shrink now. <laughs> right. It's it's like he didn't know this was going to be a marathon and not a sprint. No. <laughs> legit like I mean, this is clarifying so much about my own gut fix because this is what happens to me in arguments too where i'm like all right well i'm just warming up baby and uh Spices. there are yes absolutely we at times we are in the midst of doing a bit at other times we are discussing the news and at various times we're just having a discussion about life in general to characterize our show as dealing with any situation in one way is to characterize it in ways that it does not exist but we why, are having why, a conversation that you as a black woman you know what you can do you know issue. what you can do that is not why is it that you are breaking my battle of reality and not doing what I'm causing me uncertainty, Robin? <laughs> Why, how can you be a black woman and <laughs> this is so this is so perfectly exist. Yeah, but just... you see it in her phrasing a lot though. She's like, this does not exist, you know, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is like your this is your fighting style at eh, Ken? Yeah, it is. It's, it's sometimes it's sometimes I may not know necessarily what I want, but I more often than not know what I don't want or what something isn't. And it's funny just because how my boyfriend knew I was interested in him when he asked me out was he said, you haven't said no yet. I'm like, you're right. I haven't. Because he knows how easily I can say, nope, no, not doing that. Nope. I'm out. Bye. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, you I haven't said no. I... You haven't said no. I'm like, 
yeah, you're right. I'm like, ugh. And then I realized I was like, ah, oh, I feel defeated because I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, and I have to acknowledge I have emotions and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I just give you an awe. <laughs> Oh, uh, you found the chink in the armor. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even even still, she's like, yeah, you hear a lot of don't knows. Like, you hear a lot of negative. That's not, no, doesn't exist. That's not there. That's not true. That's not this. It's like, okay, then what is it? Not true. That is not true. We take on every group and every situation, and all you can hear is when it's about black people because that's your sensitivity. When yes, ma'am. Stand up. Black people, that's where you're at. Okay. Talk to Her turn. Hello. Her turn. When I say the same thing, when I excuse talk to me, I'd like to say something at this. Moment. This is just absolute chaos and mayhem now. I think she just, just keeps going. I almost think Sally Jesse might be like a one wing two or something. I'm not really sure, but she's also like commanding and like kind of a. Um, well, this is yeah, funny. but even still, she's not gonna listen. Robin's not gonna listen. Okay. And even so, she's like, I don't care. I don't care. One wing two host of the show. I'm not done answering. We're done, and we're not done until I say we're done. When we're done with that, when we're when I'm done answering, I will then jump. We're not done until I I say we're done. Like like they could like turn the mic off and everyone could leave, and she'd still just be preaching. <laughs> that's so that's, that's beautiful. Um, Robin Quivers, social self preservation, eight wing seven. Six wing seven, and are we in agreement two two wing one here? Or for I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, I don't get two wing three. Two wing three feels more gooey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not soft at all. Um, well, she is like sort of like when she's having fun. I think she's see, but I think it's more just relaxing of the the bulldog. <laughs> um, I don't even remember what our name is for eight six two. But it's like a mama bear. Is it not mama bear? Yeah, it is mama, mama bear. bear. Yeah, it's like a tough love type. And I guess she's like not got a, she's like got, um, well, double frustration shadow. So yeah, no, she's got, yeah, she's, yeah, she's got frustration shadow. I can definitely see that in her facial expressions. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's funny because it's like, you know whether or not I like something almost immediately because my face is like, my face will say it. <laughs> we assertive don't have to hide our emotions. <laughs> wow, I really feel like, I feel like so happy, like how this went. Like, I just feel like, yeah, like, thank you guys for coming on. And like, also like, thank you, Kim, for just like, fuck man, oh. <laughs> you're like literally the single handed person who is like, actually clarified a lot of eight stuff for me i feel like a lot of my eight conversations have thank gone you a lot, especially the guys especially because i think there's like a lot of ego about the eight stuff yeah you've just given them so much clarity and i feel like this will actually this video will also give other people clarity because eight seems sort of like a, a zone of confusion for a lot of people yeah. yeah there's like a lot of controversy there's a lot of different opinions i've been in a lot of other groups where like, like eight seems to be sort of the most controversial one where people will disagree the most as to whether you have it or don't and, and whatnot yeah like i didn't relate to i when i first my typology journey was all over the place i never would have typed myself as this um <laughs> like um i think growing up i didn't really relate to a lot of the eight descriptions and so i said well if that can't if that's not me that can't be me and then learning i uh, know there's actually a lot of like counterphobic six depicted onto eight for most descriptions so it's like you're getting a lot of six with eight fixed descriptions that's being said that's eight but that's actually not i'm what you're gonna get with an eight most of the time um <laughs> probably yeah I, the, the reaction is very locked i i some people are like eights are super chill and then you would see other depictions of eight is like super reactive like aggressive and it's like well is it both is it one of these is it, you know We're just cruel i think is sort of where where there's like this portrait of eight that at least i sort of sort of picked up around here and there it was like sort of more eights are just like so like unabashedly like 
um, self-oriented and don't give a fuck about other people and they don't like it's just like nope boop, like where it's like almost to the caricature level where it's like yeah like eights have the rejection aspect but they're not like uh inherently cruel or evil or you know power hungry trying to like dominate everybody it's like over corrections that go too far in all the directions so i feel like very yeah yeah like a, a felt sense now of clarity about what eight feels like to me so yeah yeah no it, it's i wouldn't say like part like like I would I would say they're more heart like it's like I'm definitely more heart blind than heart less it's like when I do consider you very much in my space I have a huge heart and that's something that a lot of people don't realize off the gate until they get to know me is like I never knew how sensitive you were I never knew how like deeply you care about people I never knew how loving you were <laughs> like because I feel like I come off a bit more standoffish than I than I need to and it's more so it's not a personal thing of I'm trying to come across as mean or intimidating it's more so I'm trying to get a read on the room seeing where can I put myself in this space and who has control over this space who owns this space and what can I do with it type of thing it's it's more I'm sitting back and I'm taking a look at the space taking an inventory and all of that and then I can kind of jump in when I feel like okay I can get a leg in here and all I need is a single type of spark a social spark to oh I hear someone says one thing I'm interested in boom and I talk for 20 minutes and people will be like where the hell did that come from yeah to leverage and I think what's interesting with other some other types like you see some types who they feel like they and I see this a lot with like seven sixes where it's like they go in and they just they don't do the room read. They just kind of like go in and they're just like splurt, you know, they're kind of splashing everywhere a little bit. So I think some types have a bit of, I mean, not, not just that type. I don't know. But like um, the eight specifically, it's like, I don't need to assert myself right now. I can take a step back and kind of just read the, read, read it out. And then when I find my place, I'm going to like choose that place and that's where I'm going to like go. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the worst case of any narcissism you've ever seen. 